This isn't the video that I was going to make. I was going to be discussing things like the fact that I went for a work experience interview today and that I'm most of the way through the second Fifty Shades book and yeah, things like that. But unfortunately for some unknown reason, despite all the good things that have started to happen this year, I am unable to shake this depression that I'm feeling, um, anxiety and things that are making me irritable towards people. There is a lot of things that are ongoing things that are um, still happening from remainder from last year. Um, but. What I wanted to do, instead of discussing Fifty Shades, um, my work experience interview and things like that, is do a video explaining that there isn't always a specific reason why someone's feeling depressed. Um, so if you know somebody who's suffering from any kind of mental illness, like depression, anxiety, um, and things like that um, it's probably best to not ask them what's wrong um, it's one of the um, things that you shouldn't really ask somebody because the answer may very well be I don't know um, for me at the moment um, despite all the overwhelming things that are still part of my life uh, there isn't one specific thing that I can pinpoint and say I'm depressed because of this thing or I'm depressed because of that thing. I do do this regard um um right. I know people are going to criticise because a lot of people are on medication and a lot of people see counsellors. Um I have been on medication and I have um, had counselling, however I currently don't do either of these things and I know that there's people that will say that I should go back on medication and I should seek therapy because maybe they'll be able to get to the bottom of what it is that's wrong with me. Um, I've had some seriously bad side effects in the past from some of the medication that I've been on. I've found that the counselling whether I've been going for a long time or a short time hasn't actually done anything for me. It hasn't changed my levels of irritability with other people or my levels of being yeah, socially isolating myself or anything like that. There's a lot of things that have happened in my life that I probably haven't spoken about on video. Um, yeah, to ask somebody to pinpoint a specific thing that is the reason why they have the illnesses that they have, etc. Or why they're in a low at a particular point in their life. There isn't always one specific reason that they can pinpoint. I've got a lot of things going on. I've been part of campaigns. I've tried to deal with um, how people behave towards me and things like that, um, whether it be family or people that I considered friends and stuff like that. And it is very, very difficult for me to sit here and say, oh, I'm depressed because I've had a falling out with somebody or I'm depressed because I have ongoing issues in regards to things like my children or I'm depressed because um, the campaign that I've been part of for a while um, is overwhelming and so I can't give a specific as to why I am like I am and it's very very hard especially um, with people that don't understand mental illness if I don't know a specific reason why I'm feeling low um, asking me why I'm feeling low I'm just going to shrug and say I don't know it's just how I'm feeling at the moment there's a lot in going on in my head um, I'm feeling quite muddled about things um 
been quite emotional and there's not really been a particular reason why I felt emotional or felt like crying or anything. It might not be a big reason, it could be a small reason, it could be something that any other people consider to be trivial, um, it could be something that other people consider to be something that I could get sorted out. But um, nothing is ever that simple when it comes to mental illness. Um, I am hopefully going to be um, going a bit more in depth um, away from my channel in regards to um, like how having a mental illness affects me, like um, in regards to my day to day living and um, how I run my home and things like that but that's not something that I'm going to put on my channel because that's for a separate thing but um, I'm just asking very politely that if you see me, if you know me um, if you know me then you should know and if you're part of any of the groups I'm part of you should know that the last thing that you should do is ask somebody what's wrong, um, what it is that's upsetting them because they might not know what it is that's upsetting them and it's going to make things even worse in somebody's mind if people are constantly going so what are you upset about because they could be upset about a lot of things I could be upset about nothing at all and just like well what's considered to be nothing at all to other people um, it's probably quite a big deal to me um, but I've ummed and ahed a lot and I haven't discussed anything that I really want to talk about. I am getting um, Christian Grey fatigue from reading this second book and um, it's not going to ease up anytime soon because I've still caught Fifty Shades Freed and then um, Grey, the first book, from his perspective to read. I do have some other books that hopefully I'm going to read to break up the... Christian Grey and Anna Steel fatigue because um, having them basically shagging each other like rabbits, excuse my um, terminology, and being all over each other and everything is really starting to grate on me. And um, I want to try and dig into some more educational topics which might help improve my mental health um, because I'll be learning something. But I'm going to get going now and I'm going to turn this off and um, upload it. If you do like these chatty videos, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much if you have subscribed and please share on social media. And I uh, do apologise for not having uploaded for a few days. But um, I just wanted to make this video to explain... Um, hopefully give some kind of explanation as to why I haven't. So thank you and bye for now.